OS3, happy Burns Day, happy Burns Night. I hope you've got some delicious haggis ahead of you later. Um, this week is a big week because we are going back to Have Mice and Men. We're going to come back to the personal writing unit, don't forget about it. But we're going back to Have Mice and Men and this week and actually into next week, you're going to be working on another essay on Have Mice and Men and it's going to be about the character of Curly's wife. Now, if we were doing this in class, what I would get you to do is, I would get you to prepare it in advance, I would teach you what I wanted you to do, and then I would get you to write it in a double period with maybe some notes. That's how we would do it because we would be starting to introduce that timed element. I'm not going to get you to do that this time, or I'm not going to tell you to do that because I can't really control those circumstances and things like that and you're at home. And you might not all necessarily at home be able to get two hours uninterrupted. It's not always ideal. You may have younger siblings running around and things like that. So I'm not going to do that. But if you do have a quiet place where you'd like to try it timed, you can always drop me a bell and we can have a little talk about that. We're doing multiple essays in Of Mice and Men because when you go into fourth year and you set National 5, assuming everything's back to normal by then, um, but I think it will be with the exams, then you would have to write an essay about a text like this in the exam and you would have to be prepared to write different essays. The three common question types that come up for National 5 are a question about a theme, which we've done for Of Mice and Men, a character, which we're about to do, or a key incident or turning point. So if we um, look at this one, then that would be you prepared for two of the main essays. So we're going to think about Curly's wife because she's a very interesting character. Even though she only appears herself a few times in the book, it's obviously structured around her death. Now, what are you going to need in order to do this? I've uploaded a few things for you on the assignments page. There is an essay plan. I would suggest reading that through in full first, just so you've got an idea of the types of things you're going to have to write about. There's a page of just notes and analysis about Curly's wife that you could read through. I've also made a video, okay? Now, um, in the video, I go through all the parts of the book that Curly's wife is in, or all the parts where people talk about her, and I've got a Word document up on screen with those parts, and I go through and I kind of highlight certain quotes and I talk about it a little bit more, and I've also uploaded that Word document. So what I would suggest is have a read through that Word document to remind yourself of all the bits of the book that she's in and then watch that video. It's quite a long one, but it's more like me doing the sort of lesson I would do in class that I would go back through it with you. And it might be an idea, if you can, to watch that and have your jotted in front of you so you can pause it and you can maybe take notes because it should give you some ideas for quotes and things like that and points that you could put in your essay. I would recommend that you take a couple of days to do the planning. So before you start, I would recommend that you take a little while, you plan out what you would say in all your paragraphs, you plan out all the quotes that you're going to use. If you maybe take half a week or so to do that, then you can give yourself a week or so to do the essay. This is due in for Wednesday next week, just to make sure that everybody has got enough time to do it properly. And of course, look back at the comments that I gave you in your previous essay, try to put them into practice and ask me questions if you have them. I'm going to do another drop-in session this week, so have a little look for an announcement about that. And... That will really, the idea being if you've got questions about your essay or so on, you jump on and we can talk about it, we can chat about Curly's wife. But you can also just send me an email, you can also just send me a message on Teams. So it's a big task, so let's give it lots of effort, let's really do our best with it. I'm looking forward to reading these. Um, you can type it and you can send me a Word document or you can handwrite it. If you can handwrite it, just to make my life a little easier, if you can clearly on each page write a number, nice and big and clear, and if you can number the sides rather than the pages, that would be helpful. And if you're going to upload images from your phone, that's fine. It's also quite helpful if you name the image files, just like page one, page two, page three. That's really, really helpful for me when I'm dotting about and trying to, um, to uh, go through and mark your essays. That's really, really helpful. Okay, so I'm excited to read your essays. I hope you have a lovely Burns night, but I hope you're also really ready to put your best into this um, task and see how you get on. As I said, I'll be doing a drop-in session and I will see you next week when we'll start thinking about going back to doing a bit more personal writing skills. Good luck, everybody.